What's up, fellas, man? What's happening, man? YouTube. Hey, so I got I got a video here, man, and it's from uh, Arlette Amuli. It's like a, a balloon pop dating show that she hosts, and it's a pretty good show because I like uh, Arlette. I think that she's a classy lady, and I like the way she conducts herself on the show. And her show is not like a lot of the other, um, you know, balloon pop type shows or whatnot. Like, you know, 20 women versus one guy, 20 women versus one rapper. It, they usually just be full of like thoughts and ratchets and low frequency women or whatnot. I don't even waste my time watching it, right? Because, you know, they just... <clears throat> anyway, I don't even want to talk about that. So anyway, um, yo, so often in my videos, I always talk about the type of women to avoid, Right? The 304s, you know what I'm saying? The prostitutes, basically. Staying away from these modern age women that only want to take and not reciprocate. They don't want to meet you type stuff. You know what I mean? So um, I always highlight those type of women to avoid because they're basically going to be a liability to you and they're not going to be loyal and they're just going to make your life miserable. They're just going to, you know, take all your resources, level up, and then leave you, right? And go on to the next. So anyway, I am pleased to... Uh, present a video, man, of a type of woman that you want. You know, I often talk about, you know, a high quality woman and, and I tell you what they're like, but, you know, they're so, uh, they're, they're so far few in between. They're not very pervasive out in society. I mean, they're here, but, you know, you really got to, you know, vibrate so high and, and attract them and just position yourself. Um, yeah, and, and just be in position to um, meet them. So anyway, this brother here, <laughs> he met one. You got to meet this chick right here. Check her out. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold this. What's your name? Hi, my name is Soraya. I'm 25 years old. Soraya, okay. And what do you do? I work in healthcare. Healthcare, okay. Yes. And what are some things you like to do for fun? Um, I like to go to the gym, Pilates, interior design, painting, coffee shops, okay. stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Did you hear that, fellas? First thing that came out of her mouth, she likes to go to the gym. Pilates. So she putting in work for that body. Look at her body, bro. Like she, you know what I'm saying? She's fit. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you listen to the way she speaks, she's very feminine and soft. You can tell that, like, you know, she's cool to be around, right? Coffee shops, painting. Stuff like that. These are very feminine, uh, modest, wholesome type activities. You see what I'm saying? She didn't say nothing about, oh, I like to do a lot of traveling. I like to be outside. I like to be on the clubs and this and that. Um, you know what I mean? None of that came out of her mouth. There's no BBL. I don't see any breast augmentation or none of that. I don't see any excessive lashes. I don't see tattoos up and down her arms and legs. Matter, matter of fact, look at her, her body's covered. She actually has clothes on and she's elegantly dressed for the occasion, right? For this dating show. She's wearing white. She picked out that outfit, right? She got her arms out, you know what I mean? And But look at her body. Her stomach not out. Her thighs ain't out. Her legs ain't out. No, her cleavage not out. Not, not, not none of that. So when you're looking at her, you have to imagine what she looks like up under there. She's leaving it to the imagination. But at the same time, she's highlighting her silhouette, the shape of her body. You, can, you know this woman is fine because she works out and does Pilates. So right away out the gate, she's presenting high quality. This is a high, higher type quality woman. But anyway, let's just let her cook. You know what I'm saying? Let her cook. Let's go. So what are some things you look for in a man? Um, a man of God, first and foremost. Um, I like a man who's healed. Um, adventurous like me, I'm very spontaneous, um, goal-orientated, goal-driven, and funny because I like to laugh. Wow, so a man of God, what does that tell you? That tells you that she's wholesome, that she has values, that she has um, morals. And you see, when, it, when, when a woman like that says that, she lives by that. She's not like in the other video I made just recently. This woman is clearly a prostitute saying she wants a godly man. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's oxymoronic. So anyway, having said that, bro, this woman is serious. She's got morals. She's got, you know what I'm saying? Um, 
chasteness about her. She's modest. Look at look. Look up the dress go all the way down to her ankles, bro. This is a classy lady right here. She likes adventurous guys, ambitious guys, right? You can't be a lame. And she likes to have fun. Already. Just let her cook, bro. Let's go. Okay. And now what are some of your deal breakers? Um, I would say like a narcissist. Mm. Or like someone yeah, I'd say a narcissist. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> A narcissist. That means she likes reciprocity. That means she likes a loving, caring, generous, kind man. A gentleman. And ain't nothing wrong with that, sweetie. Nothing wrong with that at all. All right. So we have not got any pop balloons yet. <laughs> You're doing good. <laughs> so for the first round, I am going to have you pop two guys' balloons. Okay. Just kind of based off of what's not really your type, what you're not really feeling. So let me give you a toothpick. Oh, there you go. Oh, then oh, I'll let you go ahead and pop those two. Then I'll go ahead and ask you why we ended up popping. Okay. <laughs> um, I know it's tough. Oh, I don't like <laughs> this at all. <laughs> wow, look at look at this this lady, man. Wow, I'm impressed with this chick. Anyway, we, we, there's more to the video. Stand by. Yeah. So, what do you feel like you add to a relationship, personally? That's a great question. Um, I think I'm very positive. I'm very happy all the time. Very nurturing, giving, very receptive as well. Um, easily adaptable. So if there is something that I'm not particularly good at that my man or my boyfriend, my husband wants to see more of me, I'm easily adaptable to love do it. that for him. I love it. Yeah. I love that word, adapt. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Adapt. I love it. <laughs> Okay. All right. So I am going to have you pop one of the guy's balloons based off of what you've heard so far. Okay. Yo, did you hear that? Did you hear that answer? Basically, he asked her, he said, you know, basically what you bring to a relationship. But it, it, essentially, he's asking, what do you bring to the table? What did she say first? Adaptable cooperative she's fun to be around this is all the stuff that i be talking about but it's coming out of her mouth this woman said if, 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 if it's her boyfriend husband she mentioned the word husband so she already thinking long term see this woman wants to be married she wants to be a wife she ain't out here trying to collect bodies she's not using her 20s to be out here to be a thought to be a 304 to be a hoe to be a prostitute you know what I'm saying? She not being promiscuous. She not outside. Like, yo. I mean, it's cool. Have your fun. Do your thing. But I'm saying, like, she not in the club every week. How do I know? Because I went to her Instagram. Now, she like to be out in the sun. Poolside, beachside. You know, shit like that. I mean, that's cool. Nice body. All that, right? But not one tattoo on her body. It's okay to have, you know, a little tattoo here or there. And, you know, well, you got to, like, look for it. But I'm talking about sleeve type shit on women. That, that's not cool. She ain't pierced up all over the place, hooped up, none of that, bro. I mean, bro, this chick is the type of woman I keep telling you fellas to look for. But did you hear her answer? So basically she's saying what? She's submissive, adaptive, cooperative. That all means the same thing. It's synonymous with submission. She's telling you I'm a submissive woman to my boyfriend or my husband. And she's fun to be around. Bro. <laughs> Yo, this this dude right here came up. All right? You're going to see the next one. Hold up. So I'm so pissed, right? Because I had made a video. Another part to the video that I edited, right? Um, the couple actually went on a date. And it was good. They did like a follow-up. So it was, it was an extra seven to ten minutes, man. But this this they had a phenomenal date. Dude didn't waste no time um, going out with her. They went to a rooftop, had some drinks, stuff like that. Um, the second day, like the next day, he, you know what I'm saying? He took her out to a rooftop and they had good vibes, good time. And then just before coming on the follow-up show, they went to go have ice cream and she remembered he liked ice cream and picked up an ice cream shop in that area and stuff like that. And it just resonated with me because... When I go on first dates, you know what I'm saying? I generally go to wine spots, you know, like a wine bar or something like that or ice cream joint. So 
You know what I mean? I, I, I could just really relate and understand like how, how good the vibes were because those are just great places to to connect and gel with each other. And the way that they was looking at each other, man, like eye connection, like you, you could tell like it's, they, they really connected. Sparks are flying. They're really into each other. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and Buddy sound like he's serious about her and she's open and receptive. So, you know, ladies, man, listen, when, when you high quality, you know, a dude ain't gonna play with you. He gonna take you serious and he ain't gonna take you as a joke. And he gonna steer you in the right direction. And I use the word steer because, you know, when it comes to relationships, you know, men have the power in relationships in terms of uh, long-term relationships, engagements, marriage, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's our abode. I mean, that's where we, you know, where we have our power at. Y'all have your power in terms of like um, sex, you know what I'm saying? The gateway to sex and all that. So it looks like they're probably already intimate because the spots are really flying. If you, if you really just watch the video, um, but what I really like about them is the connection and how much of a match they are. And it was so beautiful to watch, you know, and, and it was something that she really mentioned that really uh, struck a chord with me that I, I, I forgot to highlight in the previous one. She said that she wants a man who's healed, you know what I'm saying? In addition to a, a, a godly man. So uh, a man who's healed is, is, a, is a guy who doesn't have any um, trauma. He's not toxic, right? He's worked on himself. He's done that personal development that I always talk about. Work on yourself, mind, body, and soul. You see what I'm saying? So no open trauma. And then on the uh, follow-up show, she also mentioned that he that he was uh, emotionally intelligent. And he had given a very emotionally intelligent answer. He says that uh, his strongest um, emotion is that uh, he's in control of his emotions. And that's a very, very great answer because as a man, it is very masculine and, 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 and mature to be to be in charge and have control over your emotions. See, only a weak man is not gonna have control of his emotions. An emotional man, a man that that, that flies off the handle, that, that's quick to anger, you know, a man who's not stoic, a man who, who gets all the emotions and in his feelings and, you know, a man that cries and complains, a man that goes off on the handle, a man uh, that's in his lowest calling for example, is a, is a low emotional man. Like there's an ancient proverb that I would speak about. It says the lowest calling of a man is to ambush a woman and force his way into her life, right? Okay, well, a, a low emotional man is going to be a stalker, a violent person, right? A physical person against the woman. He's going to put hands on a woman. You know what I mean? He's going to cuss it out. He's going to call out her name, that type of thing. He's going to fly off the handle and have her walking on eggshells and stuff because he's not masculine. So he's trying to use his emotions to assert his dominance. But a man who's in control of his emotions is going to be stoic. He's going to be a, a, a mountain, a rock, you know, for her. Because women, you know, their emotions ebb and flow. Our emotions as men ebb and flow. But we want to be in control of those emotions and not, you know, wear them on our sleeve, as it were. That's, that's what it's all about, being a rock. You see what I'm saying? And for her to have that type of wisdom and perspicacity to uh, look for that in a man tells you that she was raised right. You know what I mean? And I keep telling y'all, man, you got to get you a foreign woman. This woman is foreign. She said she was from, uh, uh, I don't know if she said if she was from the DR or Costa Rica or something like that, but nevertheless, she is a, uh, a foreign black woman. You know what I'm saying? She's Caribbean. So, so guys, you know, uh, DR, Bahamas, Haiti, Jamaica, you know, what have you, uh, the continent of Africa, whatnot. Like, man, these foreign women, man, I'm telling you, they're more, they're more, their culture is basically to be a wife. They're raised to be wives. They're not out here trying to be thoughts and 304s and hoes, you know what I'm saying, and prostitutes or whatnot. Uh, they're trying to reciprocate, they're trying to be a wife, a homemaker. And this woman obviously is, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I wish the best of luck to them and it looks like they're going to do fine. And um, that's it. I don't want to, you know, go on too much longer, but I had, I had actually reacted to the video and I uploaded it and for some reason it didn't upload and I lost it. And I said a lot of quality things in it. There's another 15 minutes. I just, you know what I mean? I just don't feel like doing this. I just did a raw cut, you know what I'm saying? But uh, great, 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 um, match you know because usually they don't match usually the, um even on our our let show usually they don't really match well and the updates are pretty kind of like toxic or whatnot but this was a quality woman and she got her a quality dude 
And uh, that's exactly what I'd be saying to look for, man. All right, fellas, I'm out. Hey, man, like, share, subscribe. Like my shit, share my shit, subscribe to my shit, comment on my shit. I'll see you guys next video. And also remember, man, my book's still out there, man. How to Be a High Value Man, The Blueprint to Success of Women. It's available in ebook and paperback. I'll see you guys next video. Yep.